Hello friends, welcome to how to zone solutions and production. Move to next step. Now we will make a new menu. This menu is static. We will make it dynamic. Just make a new menu from our admin panel. Go to menu. Currently we have only simple page, just we will make a two pages. First page is home page and we will make a new page name as home page which will which we will show our dummy paragraph for our home page. Just copy this dummy paragraph and paste in our home page. We don't like to show our blog page as a home page currently our home page show, showing the blog posts for this blog post we will make a new blog page and we will use this home page for our home page and just save this home page and also make a new blog page where we will show these posts just go to settings and go to readings we already discussed that how to change this home page in our previous tutorials just select this static page front for the home page or front page we will select home page and for our post page we will select our blog page and save this page and now refresh our home page and now you can see that our home page is changed instead of showing blogs page now we will again go to our menu section which is in appearance and menu and just make a new menu name as h2 zone menu or any name which you like and just and just click on create menu button and select it as privy menu and just check this menu if you like to add any sub menu which we already discussed in our previous tutorials just add pages you like to add in this menu click on add to menu button and your all links are added in this h2 zone menu just save this menu and now we will replace this static or hard code menu with our this dynamic menu just copy this code this code just has a one wp nav menu which require h2 zone menu or your menu name and this menu will wrap with ul tag and we will set any class name for the our for your style sheet just copy this code and just go to header.php and just delete your previous ul code and you can see that our ul ul class is nav nav bar nav bar dash right which we set in our this url class it will automatically set our styling just delete this code and paste a new code and just save this header.php file and refresh our home page again and now you can see that our top menu has a dynamic menu and just go to a simple page and you, now you can see that simple page showing the simple page data home page will redirect to our home page and blog page will show the blog posts now we will change this heading as dynamic just go to template dash parts and go to content dash pages are go to content dot single 
and here you can see that our the title function which will show the title of page and just replace this code with our static heading replace this code and save this header.php file and refresh this page and now you can see that our title is dynamic just commit this title now also hide this title from content page just commit this code and now you can see that our bottom title is gone and we have a simple page title now go to next step now our theme custom theme is ready you can customize this theme with the help of these files and these file already have code which is standard code of 2016 theme and for example if we will open any code like search page and you can see that it already has get header content code and also sidebar and footer code so you don't need to change this code but if you like to improve this code and you can open these files and you can change this code now we will discuss these files this 404 page is showing when we will enter any page which is not exist our in our wordpress site then this 404 page will showing and archive is for post archives commit is for commit section and footer we footer.php already discussed and function.php if you like to reuse any code in your site then just define a function in this function.php file and you can use this function name for many times header.php already discussed image.php when we click on any image and this single image is page coding is in image.php index.php are discussed page.php when we go to any simple page like this is simple page or go to home, home page this page will make with the help of this page.php search.php when we enter anything in our search section like hello and it will go to search page and you can change this search page design with the help of this search.php search form is this sidebar search form and sidebar already discussed sidebar content bottom if you like to add sidebar for bottom of page then you can change this sidebar bottom file single.php if we will click on any single post and this page will make with the help of this single.php page style.cs is already discussed but next in our next tutorial we will discuss how to make a simple basics plugin in wordpress in this plugin we will discuss how to make a custom menu in our admin panel and in this admin panel we will add a new page which will show the footer text field and we will just enter any value in this text field and this text field value will and we will showing this text field value on our front end with the help of footer hook which we already discussed in our footer.php you can see that this is our wp footer hook okay that's all now you can make your own custom theme in wordpress okay that's all if you have any question you can feel free to ask in comment section goodbye